Hello all. Welcome to the second video of uh, AVR programming tutorial series. In this session, I shall demonstrate the usage of uh, programmer's notepad as your IDE and we will also see the creation of make file. Keep these hardware items handy for this session of uh, simple project. We make use of an AVR dude programmer which is also called as USB ASP. This is the AVR dude programmer which is used to fuse your uh, hex files onto the target IC. This is supplied with a USB cable, yet to be USB cable, which you you use it to connect it to your PC. It also comes with a 10 pin header wire. All AVR ICs uh, have a set of 6 pins to enable ISP. ISP is in system programming. You have to identify these 6 pins and connect it to the AVR Dude programmer. ATmega16 has a set of 6 pins. All these 6 pins are contiguous. You can see from this uh, diagram. All these pins are contiguous. Uh, uh, MOSI, MISO, SCK, Reset, VCC and Ground. This uh, 6 pins uh, ought to be connected to the header wire like this. There is a small projection to the left of uh, this header wire and the top one is the first pin MOSI, Master Out Serial In. And next is not connected and the, and the next one is the Reset pin. When reset is at uh, positive voltage, the chip runs the program stored in the flash memory and if it is uh, grounded, then the chip stops and uh, starts listening the ISP pins. The next one is the SCK. SCK is serial clock. And the next one is MISO, master in, serial out. Other side of the header wire has VCC and uh, all other pins are ground. VCC you can connect the 5 volt. Actually the AVR IC gets the supply from the AVR dude itself. No separate power supply is needed. This ground pin, any one of the ground pin you can use. This header wire cannot be connected to the breadboard directly. So we make use of a 6 pin RMC wire that is soldered to the AVR Dude programmer according to the header wire connections that is uh, MOSI should uh, should be at the pin 6 and all other pins as per the diagram this uh, 6 pin Berg stick you connect it to the breadboard and then you connect the 6 pin RMC over this uh, Berg stick Please take care that uh, the pin starts from six of uh, pin six of AVRIC, and we make use of two LEDs uh, for this uh, small project. You connect the LEDs one at uh, pin twenty two, which is the PC zero L LSB LSB, and uh, other one at the pin 23 which is the PC1 and this is the simple setup before we start the actual programming to start with create a folder uh, say LED test preferably on your C drive open up this LED test folder this is where you are going to store all your uh, program files. Now open up all programs and under win avr fire up the programmers uh, notepad. This is the IDE where you create all your programs and burn, burn it on the target IC. This is the code area. Under drop down where you see plain text, you select C, C++. So 
so that uh, programmers notepad uh, uses color uh, syntax highlighting type in this program all avr programs start with this uh, header files include avr io.h and include util delay.h avr io.h is the header file for all avr peripherals and util delay is the uh, for including delay timer in your programs actual program starts here with the main void and it uh, returns an integer value DDRC is the data direction register. Here we declare DDRC uh, LSB pin 0 and pin 1 as outputs. A 1 means output and 0 means uh, input. Now the never ending loop starts with a while statement. Inside this while statement, uh, we declare port C pins 0 and 1 as high to make the LEDs on and after that we provide a delay of 500 milliseconds uh, this delay MS uh, 500 gives a delay of 500 milliseconds so that uh, LEDs are on for 500 milliseconds on the next statement we declare port C pin 0 and 1 as low to make the LEDs off for another 500 milliseconds this process goes on forever this repeats forever within the while loop save this file under LED test folder you created in the C drive and save it as uh, blink LED dot C don't forget to include the extension dot C this is very important click save now we shall uh, see the creation of make file under all programs WinAVR file you can see the M file program fire up the M file you will be taken up to the make file creation software under make file you select the MCU type we are using 80 mega 16 here so select under 80 mega select the 80 mega 16 you will be taken up uh, to the statement uh, highlighted in yellow stating that MCU is 80 mega 16 and the next thing is under make file you go to output format and confirm that I hex is selected and the next thing is to select the programmer programmer we are using is USB ASP but if you search for this you cannot find it you select any any one in the list uh, like STK finder you click on that you will be taken up to the statement AVR dude programmer is uh, STK finder you try to edit this but you can't under make file you select enable editing of make, make file now you can edit this statement you enter USB ASP Next, next thing is to select the port we are using USB port you so select USB
anything you select will be highlighted in yellow and you can see the statement before you save this one important thing you have to do is to include your program name in the file you search for the target statement you scroll down the make file and you search for the target there you see the target equal to main now you change that main to your program's name we have created a blink led dot c but don't include the dot c extension here just uh, type in blink led this dot c will be included automatically under this uh, src statement so don't include dot c if you include then it will be uh, compiling will give an error now save this file as a make file under the led test folder you created now this led test folder contains your blink led dot c the c program file and a make file that you created if you try to open this make file you can't do it as uh, as the make files uh, do not have an extension you cannot open it by any default file but you can make use of uh, notepad to open it and this concludes the creation of make file uh, thank you for watching